Hi everyone, this is Richard from Student Hi-Fi and today we are going to review the Sitka SV002 That's what the box right here It is a wooden shield headphone and it is a headphone uh, It's a portable headphone, close back But I don't know, I don't know, most of the close back you find on market They always have those like little hole on top or on sideway or something do they consider it as close back? I, I guess, or or you know, half close back at least. I've been using them for a while, and I finally decided to make a video about them. <coughs> well, before let's talk about you know before the sound and everything. Let's talk about the design. It is a pretty comfortable headphone, and it come um, sideways, you know, backward, and then. Yeah, basically you can just turn it 360 around or something as you want. Well, as I using them, they are pretty comfortable and, uh, you know, as I say, I keep repeating stuff, always do that. <clears throat> you know, it's pretty comfortable, it lean on your head and I mean I put the pad away because it, the next part will be easier. <clears throat> And yeah, as a portable headphone, comfortable is one of the most important thing. And well, Sika did it, so nice job. So let's talk about the design. It make those little sideway design for like you know, um, I guess the sound range and everything because you know, they try to make it sound come more like this way, I guess. So it it can sound more wide, maybe, <clears throat> as what I guess for. I see this design on many of the headphones, you know, um, on my HD 800 T1, but they go a little bit deeper and more sideways. Well, as you can see, this is a portable headphone. You cannot make it go super wide or it's going to be heavy and everything make it not portable. And they make an easy design on changing the pad. So th I saw this design on my AKG 240 right here. K240, like, it's hard to put on, but it's funny, it's like, I'm like, man, this design is useless. Then I start try to, you know, slide it in, I'm like, it's different, it's, it's different, it's super easy, it gets sliding quick, and, and, yeah, it still take like 20 seconds, but it's pretty quick against, like, other headphones. So, you see, 20 seconds, you just plug it back in, <clears throat> plug, push. How do you describe this move? I mean, it's not plug, it's not push, it's sliding. I just call it sliding. So it's a 3.5 millimeter jack on one side and <clears throat> I don't know how they connect to each other. I guess by this little side, you know, thing, because they only have the 3.5 on one side, they definitely have wired go in, go out, around and everything. 100%. And then let's talk about you know most important thing as a hi-fi headphones the sound it sounds amazing it's not amazing when you just receive it when you just receive it the bass doesn't go deep that much and the higher frequency is like they're messing apart they're they're messed the higher frequency was a mess then you play out for like you know, hour or two, it's just back to normal. I'm like, how is that supposed to be happening? I, maybe because it's too new, because when I just open the box, it have those like new stuff smelling. I guess because it's too new or something. After using them for like, you know, one hour to two hour, one hour, to two hour I'm like, hey, it actually sounds amazing. Yeah, it sounds amazing. It sounds seriously amazing. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. Because California is reaching back to 40 degree by no reason why. And it's hot here, so. <laughs> and then after, you know, everything, you know, two, 5 hour, 10 hour, everything back to normal. The bass go deep and the higher frequency just back to one piece again. This headphone is like more, it's pretty detailized, but they're still adding those warm, smooth, uh, comfortable sound with you. It won't be those like... Uh, <clears throat> Cannot come up with a, you know, super cold, whatever, 
sound headphone. Yeah, I can't. Not that big five thousand. I love those things. <clears throat> so basically, this sounds um, the high frequency. This sounds amazing actually after you use it for a few hours. I don't know why they do that in the first two hours. This sounds amazing. They are one part. They are detailed and they are not hurting you here by scratching the nail on the glass or something. And the same part for human thing is like it's smooth and nice. It's warm. It's comfortable. It's it's like you play with your old CD. You know. When come to the bass, it is fantastic. As I can use the word fantastic with this. You know the bass. Some people like a lot of them, but I personally. Don't like a lot of bass, but I need to have some. I cannot stand with those headphones with like just no bass. Okay, no, those those are horrible. With some bass, and it, it need to go deep, and it need have a quick respond. And why I like this so much is because it just it not just having those. So I go to my local church. They play rock, pop, adding together worship music. <clears throat> when it come to the bass guitar. After the, you know, they like play it. You can hear the wavelength come out from this, and you know, some of the headphones just cannot copy that. At least some of most of the headphones in hundred dollar cannot copy that. This can, this can just you can hear all the wavelength detail when the drum hit. You can hear the kind of like, but the drum go back pretty quick. But they do keep the wavelength from the bass guitar. I guess that's what I call details. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it do keep the wavelength from the the you know bass guitar, but it the drum it hit it respond quick, it come back quick, it disappear quick. It it, it is nice. It, the bass experiences with this is just nice. It's like my T one, <clears throat> and. Uh, Oh right, one more thing. You know, close back headphone always have a closer sound because it's close back. Well, you know, so I have my MSR seven before, and uh, wow, that thing didn't go well with that part. <clears throat> Sorry, I did technica. With this, it's not going super wide. It's not ultra wide like HD eight hundred, but it's. Is it wide? Is it considering wide? It's not that wide. It's it's like between T1 and MSR7. It's like between those things. This two. You know, it's not that wide. It's not that close. It's, it's, it is. <coughs> At least it won't be like I am clo super close to you. And yeah, this is basically everything I can talk about the, you know, Sega 002. Oh, one more thing. Did I mention that already? Oh, no, I don't think so. So how easy it can drive? You can just use it like a CD player like this. Old CD player. Uh, Pensonic um, CT470. <clears throat> this is old and this is not many power. Or, or Sony D33. Or your cell phone. SPK with an amp or without an amp. I almost dropped this. I'll cry if I drop this. And you know, all kind of music player you can find or any of those stack that go with your cell phone. So the Sega 002, easy to drive, easy to re repair stuff and sounds amazing, comfortable. That's basically everything you need for like a portable headphone. And it's only a hundred dollar. What I considering they should sell it for two hundred. <laughs> well then they'll clash in with other product they have. Well, you know. <clears throat> so Safeguard 002 sounds amazing, easy to drive and well it's not so wide, but that's what you are not looking for with a close back headphones. It sounds wide than I am, that's for sure. And you know, if you watch my open box later on, you can see how many stuff inside the bag and everything. <clears throat> and they come with a nice box. It's, it's actually pretty nice. And it comes with 
Yeah, I'll go this way. Okay. Even and because I'm not using it, I mean, coronavirus. No one is going to use it. It's like this. It's big, but it's it's nice bag. And yeah, this is about Civica 002. And thank you for watching and open box it later on. But I'm still going to say that. Um, please subscribe, like this video, share this if you want, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I guess I move all the open box after the review. So, <laughs> hi everyone, this is Richard from Student Hi Fi. Oh, wow, the light is bright. I don't know why, but the light seemed bright today. Uh, whatever. Well, <clears throat> I put open box after review, so now it's the open box time. And yeah, what is this? This is Sevka SV002. Well, it's the first time I, you know, ever try out their stuff. I, I never have anything from this company before. I, uh, they make a lot headphones and IEM, but I think most mostly headphone right now. And this is their SV002. It made with wood and I like those wood shell headphones. I have a W5000. I have that W5000 is the only wood shell I have, but I am looking forward to those Audio Technica wood shell though. Well, there, 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 there are two is here, so I mean, why not? I mean, I had to do review on this, and I basically I also blah blah blah. Well, this is a portable um, headphones. It have a what is this dynamic drive that is fifty millimeters. Hmm, that's pretty big di driver. I mean, isn't the Audio Technica is only like what fifty three something like that? Yeah, as I remember. Well, I think it can compete with my you know um, MSR seven. Well. Over year, different colors, 60 ohms plus 50%. What is that plus 50% for? Who knows? And it do have a hertz from 20 to 20K. That's usually most of the headphones should have. Um, 3.5 millimeter, gold, and 342 gram. It's not that heavy. Not that heavy. It's, it's lighter light than most of the... Um, Planet, like plan fit headphone, whatever. Well, let's do the open box. This, this is the box basically. And, I mean, this is all the outside, you know, everything, all the information you need. And you know what? This looks like my yearbook. My first year yearbook looked exactly like this. Oh, beside it, it's leather and everything. On this black box, it's just a huge Sevka logo. I call them Sevka. I don't know how do other people call them, but Sevka. Right? Um, okay, so this is uh, information. Yeah, just a little detail tell you how to use them. and Yeah, basically that's it. Then you uh, headphone wired is... Oh, okay. And inside box is another box. I feel like I saw this from no guard. You need to buy the bag by yourself. But this is a nice looking bag right here. It's a nice looking bag right here. Let me let me try this. Have a safe guy on it. Made with I don't know material. It, it doesn't feel like the leather. Wait, where's my AP two thousand tie? Okay, it's right here. Oh, well, I'm not going to grab it. AP2000 ties, not those laser fillings, more like, how to describe? I don't know, some kind of material, anyway. And this is, oh, they it, it have those new, new stuff, new stuff smelling. I don't hate it, I don't like it that much, well, it's new, at least, you know, it's new. So this is the Save God 002 right here. You have a bag right here with I guess everything they have everything you need oh yeah this is a plug for like you know airplane and everything and 
uh, six points three. Mid oh, wait a second. Oh, that's funny. They they have the same design as the AKG had from like the seven series, you know. So it's like you need to screw it on. Like you cannot just plug it in. You need to screw it on. This is this is funny because I have long time didn't see you know those kind of design on other companies. Well, because I mean I personally like just the plug in. Maybe they have a better connection thing. I don't know. And to oh, it actually said on here is two year from line, year from. So I guess this is I am. <laughs> that that's okay. So, some <laughs> this is funny, bro. <laughs> like <laughs> two year from line. Okay, it doesn't matter, <laughs> but it's still it's funny. And uh, yeah, this is wire. It's pretty good, like building qualities and everything. It's not like those. Um, let's see. It's not like those. Um, if you ever have MSR seven, you know those like um rubber filling wired. So this is more like a. Uh, if you ever have an AKG N ninety right here, and I it have those like. I don't know what is this, like a. Uh, some kind of feeling that's making it more stronger. That's what I think. Right here with a mic. Well, okay, <laughs> not the same. They didn't say they have a, they have a wire with mic and a wire without mic. Oh well then, I guess so. This black and uh, gray one is for like a uh, daily use portable, and this is more like a tabletop amplifier thing. It's a headphone. I mean, it's a headphone. <laughs> Right here, let me open this wire too. It's hard to open sometimes, you know. They have those weird, I don't know, like a protection thing, I guess. Somehow they have those weird designs. Like, look at this. Why they design it like this? Like, nah. okay. But it's like, it's a cool thing. Okay, so. Put it aside first, you know, wired is not that important. Wired is important, but you know, the headphone is more important. And this is the Sevega 002. Well, it it feel pretty nice. Like you can feel by, you know, the, the how, how do you call this part again? How would you call this part again? It smell though. Um <clears throat> But you know, on the oh my god, how I forget. Okay, on the top part, it, it pretty, it feels pretty nice. It feel like um, a leather, but you know, with a lot of fill up thing inside. So make it feel super comfortable, or maybe it is comfortable. Let me put it on for a second. This is the left, and okay, they have this design too. Like it's like those, if you ever heard have those um. I don't know. I, I never I never know. I mean it, it seemed like those hi-fi man stuff. The new newer hi-fi man. Oh, this is older than hi-fi man. Well, who cares? Open it and put it on. Oh well, it, it, it do feel pretty nice. It do feel pretty nice. Pretty comfortable. And uh, decrease a lot of noise. What a portable headphone should do. And it's it is a lot comfortable than my MSR7. Let me try it. Let me put it my MSR7 on real quick. Uh, oh yeah, this one definitely is more comfortable. This one, like, they squeeze your head. Like, when you put it on, they like squeeze. They, they squeeze from outside too. No, they squeeze. But, but save guys in reserve too, don't do that. I'm not going to put it back. It's, it's all the way back there. It doesn't feel like that. It, it actually feels pretty nice, M nice and comfortable. It's more like um, you know, laying on your head, but still pushing it, but laying on your head. It's comfortable though. Okay, it's one side wire too, so one side is three point five, so definitely not balanced though. Well, it's okay. I mean, I I don't use balance that much. 
And yeah, this is about the open box for Safeguard 002. This is everything in the bag, everything inside. So basically, you get two wire, a cool little bag, uh, a, 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 a project, a, a transfer jack for like airplane. Even though, like, do do any people still use this? You can you can just listen to music on your cell phone on like on like airplane right now. Yeah, maybe someone just decided to use it. I guess. And uh, you know, three point five, six point five. I'm sorry, three point five to six point five. Uh, project, uh, not projector. Oh my god, you know, plugs right here. Yeah, this is about everything inside. And uh, I already see you guys a review. So if you like this video, please like this video. You know, follow me or subscribe me. You know, as because it's YouTube and yeah, leave comment. Thank you. Bye.